Today we'll be setting up your Polar Cloud enabled FlashForge Inventor 2. Start by cutting and opening the box. On top you'll see the Quick Start Guide and miscellaneous printing utensils. A filament guide tube, a glue stick for print adhesion, miscellaneous print tools and USB thumb drive, a USB cable, and the printer's power supply. Please do not use any other power supply than the one that is included with the printer as you risk causing permanent damage to the printer. The box is tightly packed and we found the best way to remove the printer was to turn it upside down, slowly removing the printer from the box. Continue with removal of the styrofoam and cutting the bag. Carefully remove the styrofoam cover that sits atop the printer. The printer gantry is restrained during shipping to make sure that nothing is loose or damaged. Cut and remove the two zip ties that hold everything in place on both the left side of the axis and the right side of the axis, being sure not to cut any actual structural components or wires. Finish by removing the bag and any covering of the printer's door. Next, slide the print head all the way to the back of its travel limits and pull the printer hood up and through the front of the printer. With a firm grasp on the print bed, pull it all the way to the top of its travel limit. This will allow us to get the styrofoam out from underneath it. Next, remove the filament spool from the box and remove the dry packet inside, as we'll need this hole empty to properly mount the spool. Pinch the black clip and pull the spool holder upwards. Cutting the end of the filament is optional, but I find that it's best to start with a nice straight length of filament when you're loading. Feed the end of the filament through the filament guide hole shown here. Then replace the spool holder at the back of the printer. Feed the extra length of filament through the guide tube and firmly mount the guide tube to the printer. Next, plug in your power supply and turn on the printer. The switch on the back is the master power, but the printer won't turn on until you press the black button on the front. Now is also a good time to remove the protective cover for the LCD screen. Once the printer boots, the first thing we'll want to do is calibrate the extruder height. Go to Settings and click Extruder Calibration. You'll see the print head begin to home. You'll see a switch drop down. This tells the printer it's homed. Let it finish its sequence and grab a sheet of computer paper. Slide the sheet of paper underneath the nozzle on the bed and adjust the z-axis until you feel the resistance of the nozzle on the piece of paper. You want to feel tension but should still be able to move the piece of paper. When done, click finish. Next we'll level the bed. Go back to the main menu and click level. Once the printer homes, follow the on-screen instructions by tightening each of the three gray knobs found underneath the build plate until you can't tighten them anymore. Once you're done, confirm by clicking OK. Once the printer is in position, begin by loosening the front left knob until you hear a steady beep. Once you hear the beep, click Verify. It will probe the bed again to test for proper distance and let you know the next steps. You'll see the printer go to the second homing position and then to a third. Again, all of these steps are covered in depth on the printer's LCD screen. On the main menu, click the filament wheel and click load. The extruder will then heat up to full temperature. When the printer tells you it's ready, feed the end of the filament into the extruder motor and wait for the motor to take over. Once it has, firmly mount the guide tube into the top of the extruder. You should also check to see that a steady stream of filament is coming from the nozzle. Once everything looks good, just click Done.
Start by going into the Settings menu and clicking Wi-Fi. Choose your network from the list of available networks. From there, enter your network password and click OK to connect. Once done, go back into Tools, Settings, and then Polar Cloud Connection. Set up your cloud connection by entering your account and PIN number. If you don't know your PIN number, you could find it by signing into the Polar Cloud, clicking your account bubble in the top right, and clicking Settings. From there, scroll to the bottom of the page and find your PIN. Head back to the printer and enter both, then click Save. Last but not least, toggle the Polar Cloud button on. You should see the printer show up in your list of available printers. The cover that came with your printer reduces noise and makes it a great fit for classrooms. Clip the front half of the hood and then press fit the back. Close the door and enjoy your Polar Cloud enabled FlashForge Inventor 2.